What we're looking at here is a CSV file, which stands for comma separated values. That's opened up in the Excel program. It's not a traditional Excel file. It doesn't have the XLSX extension at the end, but it is a type of file that we can import into Active Directory. You can see it has many different columns with many rows of information, such as this is telling us that it's going to create information for the information technology OU. Then we have the object class information. Is it an organizational unit, a computer? We have users, we have groups, and we have additional information here as well. If you go to Microsoft.com, you can get the directions for creating a CSV file that you can use to import a lot of different users, computers, domains, and other types of resources into Active Directory all at once. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm in my Windows server, which is a domain controller. If we type in CSVDE space forward slash question mark, then we can see all the different options that we can use for importing this file. The important ones that I'm going to be using are the dash I, which we can see here is to turn on import mode. And that's because the default is going to be export, as you see at the top. We're also going to be using the dash K. And we can see at the bottom that's going to ignore any constraint violation or object already exists, just in case there's an object that's already there that may exist with the exact same name. It will just ignore that. And the other one we're going to be using is dash F. And that's going to be file name, which is going to be the file name that we've got for that CSV file. So I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to type the command CSVDE followed by dash I, then dash K, then dash F. And I've got the file on the root of the C drive, so it'll be C colon backslash. And the file name is allgood1.csv. And we can see it's loading the entries and we were successful. So if I go back into Active Directory users and computers, I should see a whole lot more information when I press F5 to refresh. And there's all the new information, all the new organizational units I imported and all the new users that you see here, as well as groups. Keep in mind that any users and computers that you import will be disabled. And you can tell that by looking at the little arrow pointing down next to each user or computer. Groups, however, are not enabled or disabled. They're always enabled by default.